Hello and welcome to Institute of Legal and Management Studies, India's premier legal and management education portal. Get certified to enhance employability. Today we are going to discuss about residuaries under the Muslim law. So without any further ado, let's start with the video. Residuaries are a type of legal heir in Muslim law. They are individuals who are entitled to inherit the residual estate of a deceased person after the distribution of the estate among the primary heirs. The concept of residuaries is an important aspect of Islamic inheritance law, which is based on the principles of fairness, justice and equality. Under the Islamic law, the distribution of a deceased person's estate is governed by the rules of inheritance, which are outlined in the Quran and the Hadith, which are the sayings and actions of Prophet Muhammad. These rules specify the distribution of the estate among the primary heirs, who are the individuals who are entitled to a predetermined share of the estate based on their relationship to the deceased. Primary heirs, also known as Ashbul Faraid, include the deceased person's spouse, children, parents and siblings. The estate is distributed among the primary heirs according to the fixed proportions, with the spouse receiving a share of one-fourth to one-half of the estate, depending on the number of other heirs. The remaining portion of the estate, known as the residuary estate, is distributed among the residuaries. In Islamic law, there are two types of residuaries, residuaries of the first degree and residuaries of the second degree. The residuaries of the first degree are individuals who are entitled to inherit the residuary estate if there are no primary heirs. This includes the deceased person's grandparents, great-grandparents and descendants of the deceased parents. The residuaries of the second degree are individuals who are entitled to inherit the residuary estate if there are no primary heirs or residuaries of the first degree. This includes the deceased person's uncles and aunts and the descendants of the deceased grandparents. In some cases, residuaries of the second degree may also include the deceased person's nephews and nieces if they are not already included among the primary heirs. The distribution of the residuary estate among the residuaries is determined by the rules of proximity, which are based on the degree of relationship between the deceased and the residuaries. Under these rules, the residuaries who are closest in relation to the deceased are entitled to the largest share of the estate. For example, if the deceased person has no primary heirs, their grandparents would be entitled to a larger share of the residuary estate than their great-grandparents. It is important to note that the rules of inheritance and distribution of the residuary estate are not the same in all schools of Islamic law. The Hanafi, Shafi'i, Maliki and Hanbali schools all have slightly different rules and interpretations regarding the distribution of the estate among the primary heirs and residuaries. In addition to the rules of inheritance, Islamic law also includes provisions for the distribution of the deceased person's property in cases where there have been not specified heirs or made a will. In these cases, the property is distributed according to the rules of intestacy, which are based on the principles of fairness and justice. Under the rules of intestacy, the property is distributed among the heirs who are entitled to inherit under the rules of inheritance, with the closest relatives receiving the largest share. In some cases, the property may be distributed among the heirs according to their needs, with those in need receiving a larger share. In conclusion, residuaries are types of legal heir in Muslim law, who are entitled to inherit the residuary estate of a deceased. To know more, you may visit the website of Institute of Legal and Management Studies or get in touch with us through the given phone number and email ID. Also, you may visit Institute of Legal and Management Studies for various courses from Contract Drafting, RTI, Labor Law, GST and more. Get certified to enhance employability. Thank you for watching this video and have a nice day ahead.